haven't filmed a video for you guys in a while, so I thought I would do um, a collective haul, show you some purchases I've recently bought. Um, I haven't purchased these all in one trip. This was a collection like over the last couple weeks. So I thought I would start off by this clutch I got from Nordstrom. Um, it's really cute. It's a black faux leather with gold studs and this skull uh, clasp part. It's really tiny, it barely fits anything inside, but I really love it because obviously it reminded me of the Alexander McQueen clutches that I will never be able to afford. So I got that and it was only about $34, so very affordable. Um, the next thing I got was this Laura Mercier candle, and it's from their holiday collection, and it's the Warm Roasted Chestnuts, and it has like a red wax inside, and... I don't, I don't want to talk too much about this because I know it's going to be in my upcoming favorites video, so I want to save it for that, but um, it's it's really amazing. So if you can get your hands on this before they're, they sell, sell out, then I would definitely do so. Some skincare items I picked up recently um, with the Sephora VIB 20% um, off sale was this Caudalie um, Grape Water Moisturizing Spray. Um, I typically use the Beauty Elixir, but I ran out of that, and I went to pick some more up, and I saw this, and I tried it out in the store, so I thought I'd give this a try. It's, um, it's an aerosol mist, so it's a finer mist than the regular pump spray that the Beauty Elixir comes in, and it's just pure grape water. That's the only ingredient, is water and grape water, and nitrogen, obviously. Um, whereas the Beauty Elixir has alcohol and... The list of ingredients is very long, so I thought maybe, you know, reverting back to something a little bit more simpler might be better. And this has been really amazing. It feels really nice on the skin, and it's really hydrating. Um, I picked up this Origins Checks and Balances uh, Frothy Face Wash because I ran out of my other face wash. The one I was using was by... Um, Exuviance, and I wasn't really loving it that much, but I just kind of wanted to use it all up before I purchased something new. And I picked this one from reading a lot of great reviews, and because I have combination skin, kind of oily and a little dry in some places, I thought this might um, work really well for me, but to be honest, um, I'm not loving it that much, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it. Maybe I can give it to somebody, one of my friends who might... Um, be better off with it, but it's not really working out. The last skincare item I got was the REN Clear Calm 3 Acne Treatment Mask by REN. I've been dying to try um, a REN mask for a really long time, and um, I thought I would try this one because my skin was kind of breaking out and I was um, really irritated for a little while, so I picked this up, and it's actually a really nice mask. It's not, it doesn't dry. Um, like stiff like a lot of clay masks it actually stays like sort of like a lotion consistency so you can wipe it off or splash it off with water there is sulfur in it so um, after a little bit of, a little while you can kind of smell the sulfur which kind of smells like rotten eggs so I wouldn't say that this is a mask you want to use in the morning before you go out or before a big date because you might start to smell like rotten eggs so I have quite a few nail polish purchases here. Um, if there's one thing I'm consistently buying, it's nail polish, so that's just me. Um, I have three Butter London purchases because Nordstrom was having a sale on Black Friday for uh, Butter London. It was buy two, get one free. So I got this one in the shade Stag Do. And it's kind of like a, turqu like a gray turquoise and it has some shimmer through it, but you can't really um, see the shimmer on the nail. This one is Billy No Mates, and it's just a light gray color, um, which I really love. I tried it in the store, and I loved it. And then Union Jack Black, and I got this because Ashley from Makeup by Tia, I'll link her below, um, mentioned this in her nail polish um, tag vid video, and I actually realized I don't really have a nice black nail polish. I was using the Revlon one. I think it's called the Black Lingerie or something of that nature, and it's just not that black and she said this one was really opaque and especially after the first coat and really shiny so I thought I would give that a try. Um, this is OPI from the James Bond collection and it's uh, 
called The Man with the Golden Gun, and it's the one with the gold flecks running through it. Um, it's a $30 nail polish. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, but it's real gold flecks in it. So, plus, it's really what got me is that I love James Bond, uh, particularly GoldenEye, and this bottle is um, so shiny and gold, so I bought it. I really like it, though, actually. Um, shut up. Um, one I just purchased last night was this limited edition, um, nail polish by NARS, and it's called Colliery. I'll link that below. I'm, I mean, I'll post that down below, um, in the description. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's a really cool, um, blue. I'm not sure what kind of blue I would call that. A couple things I mentioned in my car haul video, if you watched that, then this might be a little boring for you. If not, um, maybe it won't be, I don't know. Um, this is by NARS, it's just a lip gloss called Belize. It's kind of like a mauve, a nude mauve. It's just, it's a really pretty um, neutral fall color. Um, this is by NARS and it's called Shiop. Um, I think it's pronounced Shiop. Some people were saying Skiop, but the S, I mean the S-C-H is usually pronounced like with the sh, Shiop, so. Like schizophrenic? Well, what do you think it is? Mm. How would you pronounce that word? How do you spell it? I can't see that. S-C-H-I-A-P. Shiop. So it's um, just a really, really hot pink color. And I'm always attracted to that. And then I got this um, blue liquid liner by Sephora. And I am going to do a tutorial with this. I do have plans to do that, but I just haven't had the time. Or, you know, I've just wanted to do something else when I have had the time. So, anyway. Um, my new YSL lipstick in the shade 49. So, the story with this is that the older formulas, I forget the name of uh, the older lipsticks, but this was a really popular one, but they discontinued them, and they just brought the colors back in the Rouge Pour Couture colors. And um, my friend Helena, who works for YSL, um, let me know immediately as soon as they came in because she knew I was obsessed with this color. And it's number 49. So I haven't even used it yet because it's just so pretty. I forgot. Also at Sephora for the 20% off, I got this Givenchy uh, foundation in the shade 2 Matte Shell. It's their uh, their new matte fluid foundation. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this word because I'll just butcher it. Um, it's really dirty because it's that kind of like the NARS packaging. It's that like weird velvety type finish so everything kind of sticks to it. But um, it has a really cool top so then you just pump it out. So if you've been watching my videos from the beginning you know that um, I'm in love with the Chanel Illusion D'Ombre eyeshadows and this is from their new holiday collection and it's number 89 Vision. It's this really nice gold color. It's really similar. Um, it's like the gold version of the white one um, Phantasme that I really love and it's really sparkly. I'm kind of holding it in because they tend to fall out of the um, pot. I'll try and swatch that for you just so you can kind of see, but you're really, I really recommend checking it out in store because you're not going to get a good um, idea of what it looks like, but maybe you can catch that shine. Last but not least, I have my Sarah Hap Lip Scrub, and this is in the Red Velvet flavor. Um, I know this is really popular, especially on YouTube. It's like has all this hype around it, but it's a $24 lip scrub, so I never really thought it was worth it. It comes in a really large um, jar though and when I saw the red velvet flavor um, I just kind of bit the bullet and got it because it kind of reminds me of the holidays because it's just a nice warm sweet smell and I'm a sucker for anything um, holiday. Well that's it. That's everything I've purchased in the past few weeks beauty and makeup wise not including the candle or the clutch. I just kind of thought maybe you guys would enjoy that, but, um, so yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Are you kidding me? <laughs>
Hey guys, so I haven't filmed a video for you in a while, so I thought I would do- What the hell? 